Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. So in this week's vlog, we need to revisit some areas. So if you guys checked out our staircase update, we did partner with Wall Planks, which we are excited about another uh, collaboration that's coming. I can't wait to share the details. However, um, we did partner with our friends at Wall Planks to do our staircase wall with the pill and stick shiplap. And that's been like a big hit with you guys. A lot of people have liked it and didn't even know that product existed, but it's amazing and I absolutely love it. But like I stated in that vlog, that I needed to give it some more life and I needed some type of artwork. So my friends at Frame It Easy sent over some custom frames. They are made in the USA. They offer quality, simple, affordable frames to make sure that you can frame those memorable moments that you have and make sure that we capture them for you know an indefinite amount of time. So um, they sent that over and I ordered pretty much, I think the biggest frames that they have, so the box is so big. Um, but I figured that it needed a gallery um, staircase moment there. And with the gallery wall, I didn't want to have, I know that some people do like the six um, pictures there, but I wanted something that I saw on Pinterest and it gradually decreased the pictures on the, on the wall. So it went from, it had three pictures and it went from one side it came down basically as you were walking down the stairs and it just created a visual moment. So we're gonna revisit that space, install what we have here today. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and also, I need to get some furniture for our bedroom. So with our bedroom, our projects have just been going and going and we need to a little slow it down. We're finally coming to an end with all of the projects or the additional trim work and things that we added into the bedroom. If you saw last week's vlog, you know that we did our beautiful fireplace. I'm so, it's just amazing in there. Um, so now we just need to get furniture. So today I'm gonna clean my shower first cause I sprayed a whole bunch of bleach and it's strong in there. <laughs> so I need to clean the shower. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and go over to Target. Also gonna go to a couple of furniture places and find furniture and bedding and things for our bedroom that we desperately need. So you'll see that in this vlog as well. So a little first ever shot with me. Um, we'll see how we do. I don't know if I'm gonna talk while I'm in there. I don't know, like I'm okay with talking like in my own home, but I don't know if I'm okay with talking out in front of other people. So Matt was saying, it's okay, just go ahead and get some footage and then he'll go ahead and edit it for me. So we'll do that. So let's go ahead and get into the vlog. Frame and Easy specializes in online custom picture frames that are easy, affordable, and fast. Once on frameandeasy.com, use their frame designer to create a custom frame for your art you already have or upload a photo that they will print and frame so it arrives at your door ready to hang. So one thing I loved during this whole process is I was able to choose all the pictures that I wanted them to print and hang for me and then they came right to my home. Well, the ideal with this is Matt didn't know which pictures I actually um, picked out. So with this one was our very first trip to Amsterdam and so when I gave it to him he was very surprised and he just loved it. So it's just a nice gift that you can surprise people um, with certain photos and just let it come to your home and hang them up and they'll be thrilled. They also offer empty custom frames as well, um, just in case you have your own artwork. So the install was very simple. So you'll unscrew both sides of the metal frame. Um, and also that's another thing as well. You can choose a different type of frame styles that you want. I went with black metal frames. You'll take off the protective plastic on the acrylic backing and then you'll reinstall and then put your pictures against the matting. The matting is customizable as well. So there's so many different variations that you can do, but it's such an easy process. So this was our first time installing picture frames using picture hanging wire and it was actually really simple. So the picture hardware kit comes with everything that you need to make sure that you secure your frames securely.
So now that we have everything fastened and secure, it was time to hang them. So Matt made a jig using a screw and a one by two. It just makes it easier for you to hang the picture and visually see exactly where it's going to hang and make an impression. Alright guys, so as you can see, I'm absolutely obsessed with the staircase. The gallery wall is so beautiful. Um, I went back and forth and I was like, do I want to do prints? Do I want to do photos of our family? But we have quite a bit of photos around the house. I wanted to change it up and do something with the floral scape. And as you know, I love eucalyptus. Um, so I thought that was perfect to tie in. It also gives an element of greenery. Um, and then it keeps with my black and white and it just it's just gorgeous. I love that we decided to go with the step down format rather than having the three just going across. I think that's nice, but I feel like the step down just gives a visual moment as you're going down the stairs, and especially with the shiplap as well. It just adds to that and it's the perfect finishing touch that that wall needed. So I'm so happy with it. Um, just waiting for one more print to come in and it should come in and see. I did the quick delivery, so two to five business days, which is actually really wasn't that bad. It was only an additional $9.99 to do um, express delivery. So I should get it next week sometime around Wednesday or Thursday. And then I'll make sure that I go back and post on Instagram so you guys can see the final reveal, the final look of the staircase um, with all those prints there. We are gonna be installing some new lighting there to change out the LED lights, but that will be later on. But again, and thank you guys so much for Frame It Easy for sending that over to me. They're absolutely gorgeous. Again, I'm going to include a link in the description box for your 10% off of your next purchase. Um, the code is going to be valid until June 27th. So it's quite a bit of time that you guys have to build, um, to get those memories and then go ahead and go online and build out your final look too for your space. Something else that I wanted to show, share with you guys is we finally got our nightstands aka cabinets and i can't wait to show them to you guys i'm just going to give you a quick sneak peek of the look in our bedroom we have our bed in here we have um again the cabinet slash nightstands um, i wanted to go with the untraditional um approach to nightstands because usually with nightstands you get drawers and they get messy with junk that you don't need all right so now let's go ahead and go over to woodstock furniture because i need to get in bed Okay guys, so this is my first time filming by myself and I was a little bit nervous. So if you see me going pretty fast, I apologize. The guy that was helping me out, he walks extremely fast, but he was so nice. His name is Rob, so shout out to Rob to help helping me out. And um, he's very attentive, which I like and answered any questions that I had. So at first I saw this bit here and I took a look at it and I liked it, but I felt like it was more glam. Um, especially I think you know how they set it up it just didn't really work so I saw this one and I felt like it was the perfect bid for us um, the bidding on there was absolutely horrible I don't know who designs the spaces there because I feel like if you're wanting to showcase this to a potential buyer that it needs to be as beautiful as possible so that way that person can visualize it in their space but if it's kind of half done then you're just looking at it like well will this work will it not work so I was able to see past all of that and just know that this particular bed would be beautiful in our room and exactly fit how I wanted our house to be. So now that I was able to select our bed, and the good thing about them, it was actually in stock. So I was able to get it that night, but we had a little mishap, so I'll explain later. So I decided to go ahead and walk around and see certain things that I liked. And I really like this table, it's so nice. I'm thinking like maybe in our next house, cause I wanted to change it up a little bit, just be a little bit more contemporary, a little bit more modern. And they had a lot of things that were in stock. So if you live in the North Georgia area, check out Woodstock Furniture Outlet because you can get some incredible items there. Um, so yeah, I was just walking around looking at certain things that I like. Those chairs are amazing. Farmhouse decor though, or farmhouse styling, I feel like they're like gouging us in pricing because look how expensive this table is. Like $2,900 just for the table. Now mind you, it is a big table and I wanted to go with a round table, but I don't necessarily have that space in this home but if you have like a morning room that's designated for that spacing not a morning room bump out I mean like a full true morning room then I think that a round table would be gorgeous in that area especially if it was surrounded by windows 
And then so I went ahead and checked out the outdoor area. Um, we did need, we do need some outdoor furniture. We're gonna do our deck pretty soon, and so they have a lot of nice items as well. But when did outdoor furniture get so expensive? I mean, the prices are insane. So hopefully one day it'll normalize. So this is a mishap with me trying to pick up our bed. So when they said I can get it same day, I was like, great, like I wanna buy it and I wanna bring it home. Well, the box was way too big to fit in our car, so we had to wait for delivery. So I'm so over boxes guys. I feel like each week or actually in our case every day there's like a new box just popping up <laughs> in random spots. So I'm over boxes and we just keep having to find places to get rid of the boxes. Like we'll go to different grocery stores and go behind the stores and just like looks like we're dumpster diving essentially and <laughs> throwing away boxes. So eventually no more boxes. But I do have to say that the bay looks 10 times better in our space than it does in the showroom. Um, in the showroom, the lighting was just awful. I felt like it just gave like kind of like a yellow hue to the bed. Um, and then in our space, again, we have the nice white walls and the board and batten treatment. So it just depends on like, you know, don't get discouraged as far as how a bed looks in a showroom because in your space, it's going to look entirely different. So if you can see past all of the crazy decor that they put on those beds, the insane lighting, then you'll love it. been watching for a while you'll know that I said in a previous vlog that I hate putting furniture together like it's the worst but now since we've done all of the amazing projects in our home like putting furniture together is actually a piece of cake and we actually enjoy it because it's the one simple thing that we can just follow directions and we don't have to think on a whim so now it was time to put together our cabinet slash nightstands. I'll explain exactly why I went with this um, instead of a traditional nightstand later on in the vlog. But the ones that I chose are the Warwick from Target and I think that they just go with our space so well. Um, again, they're a, a dupe for a Pottery Barn inspired cabinet that I wanted but um, they didn't come in a black color and I really wanted black. I think I did a pretty good job putting the cabinet together, but this shelf, oh my gosh, it worked my nerve and it got me each time. Dancing as one You and me 
I'm moving. Make sure we get through this. Let's just keep on dancing as one. So as you guys remember that this is my favorite photo of us in Amsterdam. It's our very first international trip that we took together and we went on Christmas Eve. So it's a trip that we'll never forget. And we love Amsterdam. Like it's one of our places that we just, we can go as many times as we want. We just love it. The Netherlands is amazing. I just love the canals and the people and riding bikes. It's just so easy. It's just, it's beautiful. So anyways, so this picture here, I'm going to put here. And I have another one, so it'll be somewhat like this, and I'll create a gallery wall here, and then I have another one of another trip for our 10 year wedding anniversary when we went back to Amsterdam with my parents and Matt's um, cousin, Randy. Um, so I'll go ahead and put that here as well. And we'll go ahead and create just a visual moment in our room so when we wake up in the morning, we can just see one of our favorite spaces and then my favorite person. So I have that. But these are the cabinets that I wanted to show you guys. So I got these from Target. They are a very great dupe to a Pottery Barn inspired cabinet that I wanted, which was outrageous. It's gorgeous, but again, um, I wanted to keep everything in our house. I'm starting to be more practical. Like you can find beautiful things, but you don't have to splurge and spend as much. You can, you know, decorate them, you can enhance them and still pay a decent price. So these are only $230 per cabinet, which is an awesome deal. They were on sale. I got them um, on target.com and they just came straight to my house and i bought two of them so they are a cabinet and i'm going to use them as nightstands they do have a cane material here which i do like i'm going to decorate the inside of here which i'm going to show you in just a moment on my side how it lightens it up just a little bit so these are the cabinets that i'm going to use in place of traditional nightstands because again we usually have a nightstand what do you do you have drawers and you put junk in them most of us um we do have some people and i'm pretty sure that watch my channel that are great organizers and if you're one of them hit me up because I'm not I'm trying to get on that level <laughs> um, so for me I needed something where it looked great it served the purpose on top so Matt could put his things I can put my things as well so I gave it gave that illusion of a traditional nightstand but I didn't want all of the stuff that I know that he will just throw in his nightstand and it'll drive me crazy so coming over on my side just to give you guys kind of a little mock-up of how things are going to be and again my gorgeous bed so as you know if you watched our other vlog we had a mishap with the original bed that I purchased where I ordered it from Wayfair and they lost the slats or the bottom of the bed. All I had was the headboard. And that was not gonna work for us. And they didn't know where it was. They tried to, um, the only other fix was to order a new one, but then the bed was out of stock. So I had no choice but to scratch all that and get another bed. So I got this one from Woodstock Furniture. Um, again, I think it came out beautiful. I wanted to warm up the space. Originally, I thought of something that was a little bit lighter and it was gonna be like white. But then I thought about it, I'm like, we need to add some more neutrals to just warm up the space a little bit. So I went with this bed. I absolutely love it. It's kind of similar to our bed that we had before. So I guess you just gravitate to what you love. And this time around, we just changed the color out. But it's very similar to the one we had before. Um, so here's the nightstand. Kind of just showing you guys how I'm going to design it and put some decor in there. Um, and also I love that putting white elements in here kind of opens up and brightens up the nightstand because it allows you to see the cane backing and the cane material. So I really love that. If you're familiar with our video in our living room, that this is a, a table lamp that I got from Target as well. It is a very great dupe to a Pottery Barn um, lamp. And so that lamp from Pottery Barn, I believe is $2.99. And then this one I got for 60 bucks. 
not bad whatsoever. The only real major differences is the shade. So the shape of the shade. But other than that, I mean, you could always change the lamp shade if you want to create the same exact look. Uh, with my nightstands, I, like I said, I just put some decor in here. My forever roses are in there, which will not stay. I will be building another console that will go under our transom. You guys will see that next week's video when we finally do the full reveal of our bedroom. We are waiting on a box spring and then we put our mattress on that we had for a while. We did partner with the Dream Cloud. I can't wait to show you guys that mattress and give you an honest review of it once we get to sleep on it. So I can't wait. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in this week to This Georgia Clay. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And we'll see you guys next week. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to show this space to you guys. And I finally get to sleep in it. I've been rushing Matt, so I can't wait, guys. Bye.